Oh, what fun. I had some settings in OBS wrong. I had the resolution set for 480p. Why? Because I have to do that and use virtual camera in order to get on PalTalk. PalTalk has such an archaic interface that they don't know how to resize camera images. So the only thing they accept is 480p. So if I try to use, you know, this camera regularly, it's like, hey, you want to zoom in on my mouth? Great. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. I don't like society, but I know that I have to conform to some of it. It's a balancing act, to be quite honest. Some people think that we need to radically change society in a very short period of time. Well, to me, with enough time, as technology sinks in, society will change naturally. Trying to force society to change radically in a short period of time will always involve authoritarianism. And in the case of the United States, that authoritarianism is going to be met with a self-preserving, far stronger form of authoritarianism, which many people will label as fascist. Is Russia fascist? Are Russia's gay propaganda laws fascist? Is Poland fascist? Sometimes it looks like they're heading in that direction, doesn't it? Here in the United States, if we significantly started trying to protect the culture and the systems that make up that culture, and a very heavy ball started rolling that was very hard to stop, it could very well become fascism. There are oppressive systems that make up society. These systems include the effects of Judeo-Christianity, patriarchy, cis-heteronormativity, and white supremacy. Over the years, we've taken a lot of the sting out of these systems. We've reduced the most blatant negative effects of these systems. But we still have a ways to go. There are still negative effects to work on, obviously. Unfortunately, there are a growing number of people, especially young people, who have been taught that this country is the most oppressive country in Western civilization, and that even just Western civilization itself is an oppressive force, who think that the answers to these problems is to completely dismantle all of these systems, with absolutely nothing solid to replace them. If you actually replace something solid with something that's constantly changing, it will fall apart pretty quickly and then get replaced with something probably far more oppressive than, than we've had to deal with in this country. But I suppose it's cool to not be able to look ahead. It makes it easier to push for more destructive things. Having said that, I don't think people are going to be successful in dismantling these systems that make up society. I think the systems will fight back with a vengeance and it will eventually become fascism. Then again, maybe I'm a little too black-pilled at this time. Maybe we actually can have significant exponential change without massive pushback. Maybe we actually have changed as much as social media and mainstream media would have us believe. And that the people fighting against it are simply archaic dinosaurs in their last throes. What do you think, though? Do you think we can dismantle these systems without much issue and have good results? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.